How you folks doing today? I'm Justin Savage coming at you from Total Value RV. And today we're going to be showcasing our Micro Light by Flagstaff. It's going to be your 25 BDS. It is the white out finish on the outside. So uh, let's go do a walk around on the outside and show you some of the great features that this uh, trailer has to offer. So starting out in the front here, you're going to have your power tongue jack. So it's going to help lower and raise your coach up so it makes it easier to put it on the hitch. Another thing is you're going to have two 30 pound LP bottles up front here, which is nice for you to take out on longer camping trips. You're also going to have two battery boxes in the back here, which is nice compared to only having that one. So you got double the power and double the juice. Down below on your new 2020-25 BDS, you're going to have your power stabilizing jacks. This is cool because you just come over to the side and you can extend it or retract and we'll show you a little glimpse of what it looks like in action. So if you can see down below, both sides on this are going down at the same time. So you're going to get that nice level action. And then to put them up, you just hit the button back up and you're good to go. Coming back to the front here, we're going to have your rock guard on the bottom. That helps protect your uh, front cap here. And you're also going to have a laminated glass front window here. That's nice because if a rock comes up and hits it, it's not going to spider web. It's not going to chip or crack. So that's a nice advantage compared to your side windows, which are true tempered glass. Coming around to the side here, this is where you're going to plug in your solar panel if you choose to buy one. Um, it is a 50 watt solar panel and you just portable, move it wherever the sun is. Coming up here, you're going to have your pass through storage. Um, and notice how deep that is. And it's, everything's going to be on a magnet as well, so no more of those latches breaking over time when the sun beats down on them, no more smacking you on the head. Okay. As you can see our frameless windows, this window is open right now folks. What's going to help bring that air in is your max air vent inside. It's going to help suck all that cool, cool air in on a hot summer day and uh, get all that hot air out as well. Notice how big this awning is. It almost covers the whole entire trailer. Perfect for tailgating, perfect for camping outdoors. You're going to have your entertainment area out here with your two outdoor speakers. You're going to have a nice portable grill that plugs in here, and you're also going to have a table that goes right here as well, okay? This is going to be the back part of your refrigerator, so easy repairs if you need to do maintenance or whatever, you can go ahead and do that here. This is going to be your TV bracker, so if you like entertaining or tailgating, you can watch the big game and never miss a moment when you're camping. Another great thing about this trailer, because there's so many of them, you're going to have your outdoor kitchen. And it also does as a little rain cover for those rainy days if you don't want to have the awning out. This is just going to slide out like this, open up like that, and you're good to go. Make whatever you want. It's a two burner. We're on your two LP bottles up front that I mentioned earlier. You're going to have your refrigerator out here as well. So you can store pop, water, or uh, those adult beverages for all you folks at home. You're also going to have a sink out here as well with a little bit of storage for, uh, you know, cups, pots, pans, uh, whatever you like throwing up in your, your extra storage areas. When you close it, you just put these uh, wind resistant fan or sides out, help block the wind, slide in like that, and shut the door. It's pretty simple guys, nothing much to it. Coming around on the back side here, a couple of nice things to point out. This is where you're going to be putting your black water tank or your, your hose, I apologize. This is just going to pop out like so. And that's nice because you're not going to get all that leakage inside of any of your uh, baggage doors. So it's a nice place. This is, the pot, this is the spot you put it. You're also going to have your outdoor shower. Nice feature about having it on the back is it's not going to be where your camping area is. So you're not going to get dirt, sand, and all that good stuff on, out front here. Okay? Nice, easy on the back. This is where your tank flush is going to be, your valve. You do get a spare tire as well with this trailer. And you do have the option to add on a Therion backup camera. That's nice because when you're backing up at night, it's going to help uh, see what you're doing. And that way, so you're not running into cars, trees, or, uh, you know, just damaging your trailer. So let's come around on this side. So down below on your new trailer, you're going to have your black and gray dump station. Easily accessible. you got your gray on one side, your black on the other. And then coming up top here, this is where your city water connection is going to be at all your campsites. So this is your pressurized one. This is going to be your antifreeze, so when you winterize your unit, put antifreeze in here. It's going to be your cable and satellite right here as well. And then this is your 30 amp plug-in. Okay, it's marine grade sealed. 
So you're not going to get those water and you're not going to get the critters that crawl up in there anymore. Another thing to point out, if you're getting power to your trailer, how you know is this light, this little light right here is going to flash, or not flash, it's going to light up. Okay, If it's not lit, that means you know you're not getting power to your coach and that's where you know the problem's at. You're also going to have your six gallon water heater here. Another nice thing to point out. Coming around here, you're going to see another frameless window. This is going to be your emergency exit. And this is right above your dinette table inside of your new trailer. Coming down here below, you're going to have another magnet strip right here. So no more latches. Remember that. It's a big deal, guys. And you're going to have a little bit more storage. And you can see the aluminum framing uh, throughout the whole trailer. All your side walls your slide outs and your roof are going to be vacuum bonded to an aluminum frame so it makes for a nice solid light construction throughout the whole trailer okay. this is what I have to store my fishing poles in if you look up here Mr. Cameraman look how deep that goes if you have a pole that collapses and breaks down into two it would be a perfect area to store a couple poles in here uh, if you like going out fishing on the lake or the pond wherever you're camping at Here's going to be the other side to your uh, storage, the pass-through storage that I was talking about. So as you can see, this is where your couch is going to be inside, but you do get that pass-through storage, and you can access it from the inside as well, which is a nice, nice perk to have. Okay. This is where your uh, portable water gravity-fed system is. So let's say you're going dry camping, right? And you don't have a water source. You can take your hose fill up your water tanks here so that way you have water when you're traveling. You don't have to worry about finding a place that has pressurized water to fill up your tanks. Okay. Now that we've seen the outside, let's go take a look in the inside and see, uh, see what else we have to offer. Okay, so let's take a look inside. So walking into your new 25 BDS Microlite new travel trailer, you're going to have your Morai steps. Two advantages to these steps, folks. One is I can lift it up with two fingers. They're going to stay right here so I can adjust the legs if need to be, if you're at a different terrain level. Okay, real nice, real light to pick up. It's going to be nice and easy. Number two is it's going to be nice and simple walking inside. You're not going to get that shake anymore um, that the older trailers had in the old days with that little fold-out step. So coming into this micro light trailer, you kind of see you have a nice open floor plan. You're going to have the U-shaped dinette table with a freestanding table, and this does collapse down into a bed. And then you're going to have a nice little pantry right here, which can double as a closet. You have the iron rod in there. And then you're going to have your sofa here with your two tables on the side, with a nice little nightstand on both sides, and as, as well as a closet area. And you can see, you got a bunch of storage on both sides. When you want to sleep, I'm sure some folks at home are wondering, well, where do I sleep at, Justin? Well, stay tuned, folks, and I'm about to tell you here in about, about, about 10 seconds. Okay? This right here, what I was talking about, is that pass-through storage that you can access it from the inside. So all you do, folks, you pull this flat, make sure that your bed's unlatched and unlocked here. Okay? And all you're going to do is just bring it on down. And the great thing about the Murphy bed is you can leave your bed made and put these straps on it. All you got to do is you bring your bed down you're ready to take a nap or go to sleep or whatever. So how to put the bed back up, Justin? Great question, folks at home. You're going to come over to here. You're going to hit this latch right here, pull it out, and that's going to unlock the bed. And all you do is just put it back up. Okay. And then put your sofa back up. And you're ready to have your, uh, your sofa back. Another nice thing to point out with this sofa, it is going to be the recliner. So you are going to have a place to put your feet up, kick back, and watch your TV right there. Coming around to the kitchen area, you're going to have plenty of storage underneath here, which is very deep underneath your sink area. If you can get a good look in there, Mr. Cameraman. You're going to have all your uh, controls right here as far as slides in and out, your awning extending. Uh, your tank here, so you're going to have uh, gas, electric, and you have the heating pads on it. Um, you're going to have your interior lights, your porch lights, your awning lights, and your Wi-Fi Ranger as well. Okay. And how to see if your tanks are uh, full or whatnot, you just hit the fresh, 
black and gray and it's going to light up uh, telling you if it's empty, a third, two thirds are full. So coming into your kitchen area, as you can notice, for only being a 25 foot trailer, look how much kitchen space you're getting here. You're going to have the countertop extension here. You're also going to have your uh, two covers for your sinks, so that doubles as countertop space. You got a little bit of countertop space here, and then you have your cover for your uh, your stovetop. The nice thing I like to point out about the stovetop is, look at here, folks. Stick it. Stay with me here for a second. Look at that. That's going to be a grease uh, splatter resistant glass area, if you want to call it. Backsplash. <laughs> Backsplash. Thank you, Mr. Cameraman. So you're not going to get all that baking grease getting up on your uh, your back wall here and getting in your window. So it's a lot, nice little thing I have to point out. You're going to get your 22 inch bigger oven um, compared to the smaller one. You're also going to have room uh, for some silverware utensils in there. Uh, nice place to put a couple uh, maybe pans or whatnot down there. And you're going to have your microwave up top here. Perfect size for popping popcorn or just warming up a plate of food. Just coming around to the, uh, the refrigerator here. This is going to be gas and electric. So you have your uh, freezer up top, which is plenty big enough to store a pizza in there. And then you're going to have your refrigerator um, down below here as well. One thing I forgot to point out, this is going to be your mattress heater uh, for your bed as well. So on those cold nights, you just plug this in and uh, you're going to stay nice and warm. It works just like an electric blanket at home. Okay. Coming around here, you're going to get another pantry space here, folks. Look at all that pantry space. This is only a 25 foot trailer. Down below it's just a little backer. Don't pay attention to that. <laughs> Alright, now coming into the bathroom here. A couple things to point out here right away. You're going to have your 360 siphon vent. So what that's going to do is it's going to help eliminate some of those black water odors that you may get um, from the toilet. You're also going to have a huge, huge storage area here. And think of all the stuff you can put in there. You can put chairs, you can put baseballs, basketballs, footballs, uh, all your outdoor gear you can store in here. And you're also going to get your outdoor grill that I was talking about earlier that slides on. And it does come with a table as well. You're also going to get another uh, closet area here as well. Uh, you can always add another rod iron curtain there if you wanted to have more closet area space. You're going to have your glass shower doors here as well with the aqua uh, miser system. Cool thing about this is uh, what you're going to do is you're going to turn your hot water on. You're going to shut this valve right here on the right and you're going to wait until this valve right here turns white. Once this valve hits 94 degrees Fahrenheit it's going to turn white and that's how you know you have hot water so that way you're not wasting all your fresh water and filling up your gray water tanks. Let me move some of these boxes around here. You're also going to have your bike rack right here that does come with a trailer. And I'm just going to go ahead and get up in the shower and show you guys how spacious it really is. So I'm 6'2". It's a nice shy. It's not taking up a lot of space. Um, so it just gives you that more storage area uh, throughout your whole trailer. So if you guys are still with us, thanks for watching. Again, my name is Justin Savage. You can contact me on my cell phone at 574. 3092167. I also have an email. It's uh, justin at totalvaluerv.com. If you're interested in this trailer, give us a call and we'll see what we can do. Thanks and have a great day.